Greetings and welcome back. In our previous lecture, we started setting up our interface. We created these labels and these buttons. And now in this lecture, we're going to actually create a C sharp script and wire up one of these buttons and actually change these using uh, variables in our C sharp script. So to get started, we can just right click inside here in our projects and right click and say create C sharp script. And I'm going to name this first script Game Manager. Game Manager, just like that, and hit enter. And go ahead and open it up here in our Visual Studio. And it should automatically launch Visual Studio for you. Um, you might be using Mono Develop, but um, it'll work exactly the same as far as um, the code you write here. So if you're brand new to programming, this is your first C Sharp script. Well, don't don't get worried too much we're not going to get into a lot of the technical details of all of the commands our goal here is to create a game there's plenty of C sharp tutorials that are just like reference it'll show you all the commands but we're gonna take a little bit of time to explain that a class here where we see public class game manager a class is basically a collection of properties and methods and we've got two methods already given to us we have this start method and this is going to be run automatically whenever the game starts up, whenever our engine launches. And any code that we put in here, therefore, is going to run when the game starts. Now, right now, we don't have any properties, but let's go ahead and add a few. In fact, we'll add four for each of the pieces of data we're going to track in our first part of this game. So we're going to first have a integer for health. So I can do that by typing int health, just like that, and a semicolon. This will define an integer variable um, health. And I can do the same thing now for food. And I can do the same thing for day. And I can do the same thing for money. And we just happen to be using integers for all these. <clears throat> now we could, like money in the real world, for example, isn't really an integer and an integer would be whole numbers like one two three four five but in the real world you could have you know seven dollars and fifty cents in that case we would have a float here and that would allow us to store a, a value that has a decimal place but for a life simulator game we'll stick with integers because it's easier to display and um, it, it suits our purposes very well so right now we've defined these variables, but we really haven't set them any values. We haven't we haven't actually changed anything in them. They're 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 undefined. So let's here in our start, just so uh, we can learn about variables, define our initial values. So we're going to say health equals a hundred, and we use that semicolon again to end the line. So that's just a convention in C sharp. And this equals is just an assignment. It's going to take the value of 100 and stick it in health. Now, <clears throat> it's probably likely that you have at least done some programming, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. But just know that when we create these variables, it's creating a location in memory in, in, our, in, in our system, and it's storing this value. And we can do the same thing with the day and the same thing with money. Now, we've... we've uh, set all these values but when we run this it's not going to do anything and we're not going to see any results so we're going to use a simple little command and it's basically not really a command because we're right now here referencing a class called debug and this is a class just like our game manager class but this class was you know created for us it's part of uh, the C sharp libraries that are built in and we can reference this class by saying debug and you can see right there it's actually a class unity engine dot debug so it's part of the unity engine and this class debug will let us write things out to the console and there's methods inside of it just like our start method here debug has a method called log and we can call that method by typing it out there and our IntelliSense lets us know that we got a uh, valid method 
and you'll see here that it says logs method message to the unity console and that it takes an object mes message well in this case we can just say parentheses and let's just say health and just type health in here and we'll end this with a semicolon so we're passing our health variable into this log method and it's just going to shoot it out to the console so we save here and come back into unity and our game manager right now is just sitting in the project so our scene doesn't know anything about the c-sharp script we just wrote now we can just simply click this game manager and just drag it up onto any of these objects so i'm just going to click it and drag it onto the main camera for now and when i click main camera you'll see that in addition to the camera component and the transform component that every game object has we have our game manager script and it's sitting right here now on our main camera object and so that means when we run this game that our start is going to fire off here it's going to assign these variables and we're just going to log out health so that we know that everything is working like it should so I'm going to hit play and if I come over here to console we're going to see there's our hundred that got written out and we can even come down here when we click on it and see what line it was so we can see right here it was it was 18 line 18 and if I double click it it'll take me right to that line in my code so it's an easy way to jump and see things so you can debug out the rest of these but we're not going to worry about that um, we already know that we've got our variables set up and now we want to update the the screen text the 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 actual labels that we have here we want to change this value here based up on that number so let's go ahead and do that now in order to access our text variable or our text label that's sitting out here we're gonna have to make it available to our script so this what we're talking about here is this health text and we're gonna update this health text based upon that variable and in order to do that we need to be able to reference this object and you'll notice here that we have these components on on the object and the one here script or I'm sorry text is where we need to make the change this actual component so to make this available to us in our program we can just say public and we say public because we need for this to be accessible outside of the game manager class we're actually going to be referencing it externally um, and by having it public we can do so otherwise it's it's going to be private like in these cases and you can't access health food day or money outside of the game manager and this will make more sense as we progress along but we're gonna say public text and notice I can't say text here and we get an error because it doesn't know what this is and that's because we don't have access to the unity engines UI library so you'll notice that whenever we come up here and add items it's all says here under UI and that stands for user interface and here are the items uh, and objects that we can add and we need to make that library available within our C sharp script so I come up here and under this using unity engine we can just type using unity engine dot UI and put a semicolon and that'll bring that UI library in now another option I believe we could do is we could also do I believe we could do this if we didn't have this we could say because we've already got the unity engine oh, I have a power problem here give me one second we don't want to lose our work there it is um, we could do this as well UI dot I think we could or we could say I guess we could say public unity engine dot UI dot text so we could do it like this um, but that's uh, and then give it a name here but that's very very poor code but so instead what we do is we 
actually bring in this UI library so that we can refer to this text part of it all by itself. So let's name it something appropriate and we'll call this health text. And this is actually going to hold this text component that you see right here. And to do that, I just click on main camera. And we first have to save our script. So we'll hit save here. When we save this, it's going to make this public text, health text variable available within our inspector. And we'll see it pop up right over here. And so right now there's nothing in there. Notice you see the none. So I can come then and just grab this health text and drag and drop it right in there. And this now is in the instance of the scene here, this health text variable or property inside of our class here will now be populated with the health text from our scene. So that's what that means is we can come down here and say health text dot text and this is a property that we're referencing inside or a field it's a field inside of our inside of our um, health text uh, object we can reference that text field and actually assign something to it and in this case we want to assign the health now health is a number so we're gonna have to learn just a little bit more um, to make this work, we're going to say that we want health, obviously. So we want the label there, just like we have. And then we use a plus because we want to add on additional information, you know. Um, and we're going to say health, just like that. And if we do it this way, we're going to get an error. You'll see, oh, actually, I forgot that the two string is going to automatically take this integer and convert it into a string for us and add it on just like that that's all we have to do we hit play and it's going to look exactly the same and this is why i typically would not put these in here like this so game developer tip number one i guess where i would say this is just a tip that i use a lot is don't put real values in here in your label so i'm going to change this over to look like this <clears throat> so this way you know that your application is working properly and that you're not fooling yourself by having um, placeholders that look like legitimate data so now as we build this out we'll see that our application is taking over for our static labels so when I run this now health is the only one at a hundred because it's getting set from our code and we can simply come in here change this health to say 90 to confirm that this is working as we expect and just like that, health starts out at 90. So I'm going to end this lecture here. We've learned how to hook up a variable. I would learn, uh, encourage you now uh, to do it yourself. Go in, in the next challenge. Make it so food, money, and day are also loaded here from your C-sharp script.